defense or offense is not something you say, I'm going to go to the gym and we're going to work at it real hard today and we're going to get good at it after one day. It's something that takes time and you know, development habits and things like that. And we're certainly working on working towards that. You were very frustrated, obviously, with the performance in this building. If you had those those days where you come in and just say, there are no basketballs, we're just, we're just playing defense. Uh, we, we may have done that in the past. I haven't done that yet. You know, we've still played with balls. I figured out it would be a lot more game-like if we actually play with the ball from time to time. So, uh, but the emphasis has been defense for sure. In better position than what I thought. I just don't think we're we're, we're just our mindset and, and our activity is isn't what it needs to be to maybe make an opponent catch it a step further out or playing before he catches it or, or being active with our hands. I mean, there's a there's a lot of things I think that are correctable that we can do, but I don't think it's as much from a positioning standpoint as it is just from a, a, a reckless abandon type standpoint. San Diego State's good, you know, top 20 team. And, well coached, well drilled, and certainly one of the premier defensive teams in the country uh, right now. And, and uh, you know they can score the ball, but, but, but they hang their head on stopping people. So it, it, I'd be very surprised if it's a game like Toledo. Uh, I think I do think they'll play fast, but offensively, but they usually make you use the clock defensively uh, uh, when they're on defenses because they're not going to give up a lot of easy, easy shots early on. What yeah, is, I, I think it's just a year old. I thought Perry was really good, and you guys saw it too the last quarter of the season last year. But, but he's, he's been pretty consistent, and when he hasn't played well uh, or as well, it's you know usually our team can perform as good too. Uh, uh, we need him to be a consistent score for us, and, and he rebounded the ball better against uh, Toledo, obviously. And Georgetown didn't get a chance to play because of it. got to get hit in the head. And I thought he was really good against New Mexico, so I mean he, he's definitely. Got some confidence and some momentum moving forward uh, in a positive direction. But he's just more aggressive, even though he's not as aggressive as like, he's a lot more aggressive than he was last year. Just getting back to Steve a little bit. I don't know if there's very many coaches out there that's you know that's coached in three national championship games. And he coached in three national championship games in the span of about I could be off a little bit in the span of about five years. And and uh, of course the one year he was pretty fortunate that you know that, that he got a chance to do it. But, He's an unbelievable coach. I mean, he's done an unbelievable job at San Diego State. And Another good non-conference foe. What do you know about San Diego State? Uh, right now, I know they're real good defensively. So um, I know we're going to have to be real, real composed, composed, and really just just work work out to uh, break their uh, press and stuff like that. So I mean, we just have to really work on that today. Um, I would say it's something in the mind, like something mentally that that you just don't have to worry about messing up. And when we do that. And we just playing freely, defensively, I feel like we'll have it. And that's what I kind of went through my freshman year, just kind of just just worried about messing up, you know. And, like, when you just don't worry about that and just really just press through that and, and good things will happen. Is it repetition? Is it a lot of repetition on that end of the floor? I would say. I would say it was a lot of repetition, just getting in games and just getting more and more comfortable. Um, I'm a lot, lot stronger. Uh, over this summer, I've been working real hard with Hootie and, and getting individual workouts in and stuff. So, I mean, it just really, really just helped me from a, you know, it just gets you a lot more confidence when, you, when you've when you been working real hard in the weight room, and I just feel a lot more strong. Um, I definitely think so. Um, we had some, some great practices, and, and we're just playing. We're starting to, I mean, in practice, we're playing great defense, and I feel like if we keep continuing doing that, it's going to get better and better. Yeah, we got to get out here with this energy that the, the fans bring. We got to, like, create havoc and force turnovers. And I think we forced that many uh, last game. I think we can do a better job of getting after the ball on defense. And um, yeah, as far as, as far as that goes, that's pretty much what he was talking about. I think, I think we, we play up to our comfort zone. We don't like force anybody to like uh, like adjust. We don't really like get after people as much as we should. So we definitely gonna do, do a lot better. We've been working hard and practice on defense. So that's what he's been focusing on. We haven't really been doing much on offense, all defensive drills in practice the last couple of days. Please. Our offense isn't, isn't the problem, right? <laughs> and uh, we just got to focus in on defense. So we're pretty much getting good looks just about almost all, every time we come down besides maybe a couple turnovers. But uh, offense is not, isn't our problem right now.